Hey, what's up, everybody? Doran Aldana here coming at you with another live episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast, MortgageMarketingCoach.com. And today we got a very special interview with the one, the only Johnny Supa, the Supa Dupa. And uh, he is a relatively new mortgage professional, just got started last year, uh, near the beginning of the year. And we're going to be talking about how he hit 100K plus in his first year as a mortgage professional, which believe it or not, the average income in this business, even for veterans, is no more than $75,000 per year. No joke, check the stats online, $75,000 a year. That's the average income over all spans of experience. Johnny Supa went from zero to over 100K last year, 2018, starting from a standing start, and he did it without the hell of cold calling, doing it the hard way, all the crap you hear people telling you to do, you need to be calling the same realtors every Monday on, you know, with, with a smile and dial, lame ass value proposition, every Monday to the same agents. He did none of that. He did it the smart way as opposed to the hard way. So we're gonna hear from him directly today on his story, what he did, what made the difference. So those of you who are newbies, you're gonna love this because you're gonna be able to relate to a lot of his trials and tribulations, perhaps intimately. And for the veterans, don't tune out because there's a lot of what he's going to share here that is 100% relevant to your situation, even though you're a veteran, even though you've been in the game for perhaps a multitude of years and you know, you're know you banging your head against the wall thinking, will this ever work for me? What's been working for Johnny Supa can work for you, even if you're a veteran. So with that being said, without further ado, Johnny, thanks for hanging with me today, brother. Hey, thanks for having me, Doran. What's going on? Hey, a whole lot of awesome, brother. I see you're rolling in your vehicle there. You've got some white in the background. You're in the cold white north in uh, Toronto area, GTA. And it ain't summer, baby. We got snow all over the place. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. you got the heater cranking so you don't freeze your ass off. So uh, thank you for uh, being with us in spite of the fact that you've got a full schedule. You got a lot going on and you got snow everywhere. Here you are. Mm -hmm. Running around from from meetings to the next meeting and just right. getting stuff done, guys. And somehow, some way, we're sliding in a little Facebook Live in the mix. So why don't we start things off just sharing a little bit about your story. Uh, what inspired you to get in the mortgage business? And uh, tell us a little about, a bit about some of the trials and tribulations uh, that you started with in the first few months um, before we hooked up. All right. So I started my career in sales about over maybe 20 years ago. And uh, I spent a majority of it in the car business, uh, selling cars, uh, doing finance in, in, in the car business. And what happened was I find myself doing 17 or 17, 12 to 15 hours a day, but I was at a facility. But a guy like me with a young family, I wanted to be able to offer a product that virtually could be offered, I guess. And uh, mm -hmm. mortgages allowed me to do that. So I can offer a product for a mortgage, but I'd have to be situated in one specific place at all times. I can spend more time with my family, which was what was most important to me. Mm -hmm. uh, at the beginning, it, it was tough because a lot of people in this business only knew the process that's been around for decades. And it's the old way of doing things where you, you know, you call realtors and ask them for their business and call realtors and ask them for their business. And, and then I met Doran. And Doran showed me that <laughs> you, you don't got to do it the hard way, man. You just got to market properly and, 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 you know, plant the right seeds and fruits will come and shit, man. It worked quickly. <laughs> Imagine that, right? Imagine that. This shit actually works. Novel it's, concept, right? <laughs> it's good, it's good. I, I got in the mortgage business um, last February. So it's exactly a year coming. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't reach out to door until about I, I know the date exactly it was April or something April 19th was the date yeah right. and I jumped on Doran's program I did the 12 week course um, and I, I followed man I, I practiced what he preached I took the course I took the leads I uh, manifested my campaigns in a CRM um, and, and I didn't have a database that a lot of you veterans might have they might have four or five hundred that I literally went out and found every business card I could find. And I just entered it into my database. Um, right. I went out and uh, in the business that I was in, the car business, I, I actually, on Google, searched all the dealerships 
And I took all the emails of all the salespeople. These guys are their, their customers too, man. I took all their emails. I put them in my database and I farmed them every week with our videos and our emails and mortgage renewals and business came out of it. And it wasn't all just mortgage business. A lot of it was even real estate business, handing mm-hmm. referrals to the realtors instead of the re- realtors handing referrals back to us, which right. is where a lot of income can come from. If you run this program or run this business properly, you can, it's us who hold the cookie, not the realtors. And as soon as mm-hmm. we mortgage agents realize that, that the process starts with us, it doesn't start with them. And we, I think the economy or not the economy, the people have it backwards. It's like the first thing I want to do if I want to buy a house is call a realtor. That's wrong, man. You should be fucking calling a mortgage agent, get pre-qualified. Right. And then Bingo. you hand to the realtor and you send them a bill for that lead. Not that they want you to take them out for lunch every time and on your dollar. Shouldn't work right. that way. Yeah. That's right. And obviously you're preaching to the choir right now because, you know, um, obviously you came to the light. You were in a dark room, just fumbling around trying to figure it out when you first started cold calling realtors and chasing them around. They're not giving you the time of day. You're trudging through the mud with concrete blocks in your feet. You're paying, banging your head against the wall, wondering why it ain't working. And you actually did relatively well, even in spite of all that, even though the lights were turned off, you did, uh, I think as far as I recollect, how many loans did you do before we got started? I think you were in the game for like, what, three or four months before we connected and you'd done like maybe one loan a month or something like that? Yeah, I did four deals before I talked to you. Right. And then for the next, the next, the next month or the next rest of the year, I trend, I did about 40 transactions plus. So you went from four deals in the first four months of the year, yep. which was averaging one deal per month to 40 deals in the last eight months. So that puts you at about eight, uh, five rather, five closings. So you went basically five X on us, if you average it out, right? Yeah, now we're, we're going 10 X this year, for sure. That's what I'm talking about. We're just getting warmed up, baby. But uh, tell us before we talk about what it took to really turn on the light, and you've already, you've already alluded to some of the things, you know, you, you're having a hard time um, even imagining what it was like to be in the dark trudging through the mud with concrete blocks on your feet because now you've come to the light and it's a whole different paradigm, a whole different game and a whole new level of results. But take us back to what it was like when you were in the darkness, when you were in the mud, when you were in the muck and mire of doing it the hard way, trying so, your best, but you know, it wasn't, wasn't working. Paint so a picture of what it was like for you. So I'd wake up uh, with no material whatsoever. I'd have mm-hmm. a, a rate sheet and donuts and I'd mm-hmm. walk into the real estate office and I'm like, Hey guys, my name's Johnny Supa. I'm a mortgage agent. Here's my rate sheet and here's a box of donuts. If you got anybody, <laughs> give me a call. And, uh, I actually ran into one of my, uh, a friend of mine that I play soccer with. And he's like, Johnny, stop doing what you're doing. You're doing shit the hard way, man. Cause it's not just you. There's, there's hundreds of you guys coming in here saying the same thing with the same pitch, offering the same products. He goes, mm-hmm. think of something different. And, uh, and I remember, I, you know, for days I, I was, I, I didn't, I didn't want to take that reality. I thought, no, no, no. This process is what everybody's telling me to do. It's going to work. And I did it every yeah. day. And realtors didn't give a shit. They didn't even want to talk to me. They didn't right. care. They, you know, and I'm not saying that they think they're better than anybody. It's just they make money, man. And that money brings confidence. And their confidence was bigger than mine at that time. And that's what yep. it was, I, I was. I felt infuriated a lot of the time because I was like, fuck, excuse my language. But I'm like, this is not how it should be. And right. I, I remember days at my kitchen table and my wife's sitting there and I'm making these cold calls to these realtors. And every time it was the same thing. Hey, John, I'm busy. Just give me a call back. Hey, John, I'm right. busy. Just give me a call back. Hey, John. Stuffing you off. And I was like, man, oh man, this is brutal. Like even my own friends that I've been friends with for such a long time, <laughs> they turned to me right. like, hey, man, my system's good. My system's good. I'm like, all right, well, you know, can you give me some insight? Like, I, I don't even want a deal. Just give me some, some information. They, nothing. Until I held the cookie. Then you see how fast they answered their phone. And you say, hey, I got right. a <laughs> <laughs> game changer, baby. Flip the switch. Flip the script. And now you got the cookie. So obviously, that's where you are now. But back then, I mean, you were in the hell of cold calling. And they're not giving you the time of day. They're sloughing you off, telling you to call later, even friends. Even in spite of the fact that you got great rates, great service. Even in spite of the fact you're bringing beautiful, delicious donuts, even in spite of the fact that your last name is Supa. I mean, the gall, the audacity to turn you down with a last name like that. I mean, come on now. Do they not know who you're dealing, who they're dealing with? 
And yet still nothing, nada. So you're, it was like pulling teeth the first four months coming from a deep six figures in the car business. I mean, you didn't have a life, but you're making solid money. Yeah. You left that because you wanted to have a life and see your kids before they went to bed and see them, you know, before they go to school, you wanted to actually be a hands-on daddy and a hands-on hubby. Yes. But now you're making peanuts. You're grinding it out, making peanuts, reaching out to these realtors, making a fraction of what you're making before. Tell us about how you feeling. It, I mean, were you freaking out? Were you, uh, you know, starting to wonder how the hell you're going to be able to keep the lights on if you kept going like that? Tell us about, a bit about what was going on in your head in terms of the, your emotions and, and your thought process at that point before man, we I started. Could, I, I could start crying to tell you how shit it was, man. It was, it was tough because, you know, you're used to a certain lifestyle. You're, you're used to certain income um, and, and your lifestyle depends on that. And, and man, it got to a point where I was transferring money from fucking places i didn't even want to transfer from and i'm telling you know this is the hard honest truth man mm -hmm. it's brutal and uh i had to make some big decisions and even the investment into into doran's program was you know should i or shouldn't i but it's like man if you don't make this investment what are you doing like right. there's a process and doran's got a process and I, and I read i read your reviews and i read your reports and, and and i did my research and i'm like man but these guys are getting actual results and if i just follow that program and get those results then the money i invest will definitely be worth it but it was some shitty times man i i, I remember calling i had to call one of my uh, credit card providers and up my Ooh. limit for the credit card that i used to pay for this program Cause I think right. my limit was five grand on it. I'm like, okay, well, can we just up it to like eight grand so I can just use this one credit card and don't have to inter like disrupt the rest of my life. I could just right. use one credit card. And, and, you know, some people might say, Hey, that's not the way to do it, but that's what I did. And it, it paid me back. And um, hey, I, you weren't about to accept the feet and Lord knows your, your wife wasn't about to have you settle for making chump change. Your kids weren't about to say, hey, daddy, don't don't put on the credit card because, you know, you need to make sure there's uh, you know, you don't take too much risk. Screw that. You had your 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 kids mouths to feed. You had your mouth, your your wife to provide for. You had a family to feed. You didn't have time to mess around doing it the freaking hard way. You're used to making deep six figures and now you're making peanuts. You're between a rock and a hard spot and you got to find a way to win. So obviously you your your dream and your commitment to your dream was bigger than your fear and your commitment to your comfort zone. So you said, screw it, let's freaking do it. You got resourceful, you put on all the stops because here's the thing, the committed always find a way. That's the right. interested always find an excuse, the committed always find a way. And that's the true litmus test to how committed you are is when push comes to shove and you're in a place where you're making a decision between your comfort zone and conquering. If you're truly committed to conquering, You'll do whatever it takes, even if it pushes you out of your comfort zone to do it. And that's precisely what you did. And obviously, the lights switched on for you. Big things happened for you. Tell us about uh, some of the things that you put in place once we flipped on the lights for you. We took you out of that dark room, slugging it out, doing it the hard way. We flipped the light on for you, and we started to put some systems, some strategies in place. Maybe give uh, the top one, two, or three strategies that we put into place that really started to make a difference for you? So the first thing that worked for me was, um, first and foremost, was the CRM tool. Uh, make sure you follow Doran's program. I'm not sure what week it's in, but I think it's in week four, where you got to go out, get your CRM, upload your client list, whether it's from a, a CSV file, whatever it is, put that in there and start farming those people, um, whatever method you want to use, whether it's from a mortgage renewal uh, update or... Um, what else was the other one we did? Mortgage renewal. Yeah. So we're and doing uh, we're doing video tips. We're doing annual mortgage reviews. We're doing birthday calls. We're we're hitting them from all different angles. Gift <laughs> gift baskets to the workplace with balloons. I mean, we're not messing around. We're doing a diversified, multi-pillared approach. Send out, send out cards works out great, man. Send out. Yeah. We, did, we did a lot of send out cards because a lot of the clients' information I had had their date of births, so that that worked. Um, what the unfair advantage if you work that system correctly and you offer this this with your realtors and you use um agent marketing right yeah yeah agent marketing yeah if you use agent marketing properly and you showcase it to the realtors in a 
in a, in a good way, it, it definitely changed their perspective because you're not just some average realtor or average uh, mortgage agent offering the same rates as everybody else. You're actually offering a marketing strategy that may help. And mm -hmm. um, the, what the, worked the best for you? Give us the top one, two or three that may, was the biggest marketing? game changer for you. Facebook campaigns all day long. So uh, tell we us about that. So I made one quick 30 second video with Chris real, the real deal. Yep. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, the real deal, Chris one, real. I, I made a 30 second video about renting to owning. It was a simple uh, benefits features of, of the Ontario product that we have, of course, getting uh, into an entry level uh, first time home buyer property and the, the benefits of owning the benefits of owning versus renting. Right. Yeah, we ran, we ran that video for three months and we generated over 143 leads. Uh, that video has been now viewed over 15,000 times, which is fantastic. Wow. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. It's got over 15,000 views, 143 leads, and we converted quite a bit of that business. And now a lot of that, some of that business didn't even come directly to mortgages. A lot of those clients already had their, not a lot, some of those clients leads, had their finances in place with their own lender. But those mm. were good leads that I handed to a realtor. It's like, hey, bud, here's a pre-qualified client who's looking to buy their first time home. They've got a pre-application or a pre-approval. And I handed those leads off to realtors and charged them for it. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. And they're, either, they're either getting charged with cash if they're not making you their exclusive or they're mm -hmm. making you their exclusive and they get charged by sending you deals, right? So once, once I did that, they started seeing that I was different from all the other mortgage agents. And now I be, it's like, Oh, here's, here's this deal for you, Johnny. And here's this other deal for you, Johnny. You know what, actually, can you do my personal deal for me, Johnny? And I was like, yes. nice. You know, you're <laughs> in when, you know, you're in the inner sanctum when <laughs> you're doing the personal shit. Yes, absolutely. So you got 140, you got 143 leads. How many of those converted into apps and deals approximately? Uh, so so, okay, so I know my metrics quite well. So 143 deals turned into 15 applications and the 15 applications turned into nine, nine mortgage deals. Nice. And, and how much do you think you made on commissions on those so far? Oh, so. You're making like three G's a pop or something? 29.75 is my average. So just under three grand, just under three grand a deal. So about $30,000 wow. on a nine, on a, on a $900 investment. $900 ad spend? Are you kidding me? 300 bucks a month. That's all we did. 10 bucks a day. Dude, that's off the freaking chain. So yeah. 20, you've made around $30,000 in commissions from nine deals from a $900 ad spend. That's just on mortgages. That's amazing, that's like, man. That's what we can talk about. The I think it was like six deals we referred to the realtors. And mm -hmm. out of those six deals, we build uh, about 2000 So another $12,000 just in real estate commissions or referral fees as we put back. So for Forty-five thousand dollars on nine hundred bucks. Yeah, incredible. And how many realtors did that involve when you sent those six deals out? How many realtors so was that? It involved four realtors. So four realtors, and how many of those four realtors made you their exclusive after you started sending them all this business? All four. All four. All so four. that's the gift that keeps on giving, is it not? Absolutely. Yes. I mean, when you think about how much, sure, you're making an insane ROI. I mean, we could bust out the calculator and you're making some insane return on investment just from the 900 bucks. If you include the 12 G's you made on the referral fees for those six deals, you, or those, uh, yeah, those six deals you sent to those four realtors and the other 30 K you generated just from those deals that culminated into um, nine closings from those 143 leads. But if you look at those four exclusives that you got and you think about how much business they continue to send you month after month after month, how much do you think you'll make just from those four exclusives in the next 12 months? So on each, they probably average about two deals a month. These guys are two again, deals of, top dogs. Yeah, top dogs are all, all these guys are doing 40 plus deals a year. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what you want essentially because they've got four or five houses on the market at all times. And you co-market the, the properties with them. Um, right. you know, some, some of them we do text capture leads with some of them. We don't, uh, we do farming with a few of them, a couple open houses and they do about two deals each a month. So I'm probably tracking to do about on average six deals just from realtors a month. So six times two is 12, 12,000 bucks a month. That's about 170 K I think about this year. 
just from realtors. Yeah. And if you're if you're if you're consistently getting two deals a month per realtor, you do the math on that. That's seventy two G's per realtor per year on yep. that on a three G's per deal, right? Yeah, sorry, math wrong. That's right. Yeah. That's, yeah. So you do the math on that. That's like almost three hundred thousand dollars for four realtors doing that. I think our math two hundred. 401 is what the spreadsheet shows, but uh, right, and that's if they're doing more than two deals a month. But even two deals a month times four times three G's a pop that's $288,000. Not too shabby for a, a $900 ad spend on Facebook. <laughs> Not at all. That just and that just got the ball rolling. Now we're we're obviously involved in a lot more stuff and a lot more mm -hmm. campaigns, we're running a few more. Uh, marketing ideas, but that's where it stemmed from. Like this yeah. all from the $900 we spent on Facebook with one video, not three, not two, one video mm -hmm. generated 143 lead that turned into yes, mortgage business, but it helped me solidify four top realtors in my area. And I plan on doing more this year. Like we want to double that. So we want eight realtors. Right. Yep. We yeah. just, we on our, we've hired our first mortgage assistant. So nice. I got on full time who's doing all the minutia, who's, you know, doing all the data entry. So awesome. which is, which is great. Yeah. We finally got yeah, that. That's huge. Yeah, it is. It is definitely it takes a lot yeah. of my plan. It allows me to be out and, and meeting out with clients or uh, even, even uh, banks for that matter. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Free you up so that you can focus on rainmaking. You do what you do best. You get the best to do all the rest, meeting with clients and cash and checks, right? That's, that's how you 10 exit right there, baby not messing around pushing paper in the office. That doesn't pay. Making it rain is what pays. Most people get asked backwards and all they're doing is pushing paper all day and they wonder why they're stuck under a glass ceiling making 100K or less. Well, and yeah. uh, how, many, how many veterans do we know who are the chief cook and bottle washer wearing all the hats, being a lone soldier doing all that shit themselves? And here you are just over, you know, what, uh, 14 months in the business and you've I already know. got an assistant, right? Yeah. And you've already got an assistant. I mean, that's the power of having a proven plan, folks, not messing around doing it the hard way. Just find out what works and do what works. Why mess around trying to reinvent the wheel? So obviously some game changing shifts for you. Uh, obviously, we're just getting started. You ain't done. You've just begun. But uh, a pretty monumental breakthrough, to say the least. And the coolest thing is those four solid partners came from two months worth of advertising for 900 bucks and now they're the gift that keeps on giving and you can rinse wash and repeat that bad boy all day long you want to make a million bucks just rinse wash and repeat with the same formula every single one of those partners is worth 72 to a hundred thousand dollars per year to you do the math on it you don't need that many more we're going for quality not quantity so what are you most excited about now that you've you know really got the secret sauce to 10xing your business what are you most excited about in your business right now repeat Rinse and repeat. Right. <laughs> We're going to put the campaign out there, but maybe um, maybe double our ad spend, obviously, because we still want to keep generating the same amount of leads. Right. Double our ad spend and go out and get four more top realtors in, 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 our, in the GTA. And I think once what, a lot, what's happening is realtors are talking to other realtors. And it's like, hey, Johnny's sending me leads. He sent me a lead last month and I closed this deal or in, in this condo. And they're not like they're not spending big bucks to get the deal. It's just be my realtor partner. I'll hand you leads. You hand me leads. Let's right. work together. And it's working. You. Anyways, I I don't know, man. I'm just excited because I, I know <laughs> repeat the cycle, repeat the process, follow it step by step, and just do it, man. Make the phone calls. Call these realtors. Um. Do, you know, but don't just call them with you know great rates and great service. You got to call them with the value proposition of what you're doing. It's like you're breaking up there, Johnny. You still with us? It's like we lost connection. We may have lost connection with Johnny. Hopefully he'll come back momentarily. As you can, can tell, you he's pretty jacked. There he is. There you're back. We lost connection for a moment there. That's no problem. I'm back. Yeah. As I was saying, I, I'm not sure what you guys missed, but the biggest thing is just repeating the process over and over again. I, again, like I said, I come from the car business and it's, Yep. The same process in the car business. You meet the client, you meet and greet, you do a vehicle walk around, take them on a test drive, trial close, trial close, trial close. That's the car business. In this mm -hmm. business, it's 
Thorne's plan. Follow the process, rinse and repeat, get four top quality realtors who are doing 40 plus deals a year. That's what you want. You don't want these guys that have zero listings because it's just hard to work with when there's nothing that they have to offer you and you have so much to offer them. Right. It's pretty hard to squeeze water out of a rock. So quality is the name of the game, guys. We're rolling with champs, not chumps. If you want champion level results, you can't afford to roll with chumps who have no listings, no buyers, no influence, no inventory, no marketing firepower. Hell no. If you want to soar like an eagle, you got to roll with eagles, not scratching the chicken yard with chickens. So love your story, Johnny. Super excited for you. Super proud of you. Way to show up coachable and committed. Love how you took massive action and you did whatever it took to make it work. I mean, you... You pressed through the fear, the hesitancy, the what if it doesn't work, and you were more committed to your dream than your comfort zone. And here you are just over a year later, and uh, now you're talking about 10Xing a six-figure income that you made in your first year, and uh, you're on track to do exactly that as you rinse, wash, and repeat. So what would you say to someone who's on the fence? They're like, you know, I've done this program. I've done that program. I've ponied up tens of thousands of dollars on crap that doesn't work. I'm really skeptical. I'm really hesitant to, you know, try and kiss another frog and have it be a disappointment. Um, you know, how do I know if this is legit? What do you say to someone who's on the fence, who's got all this skepticism, fear, resignation, but they really want to create a breakthrough? What do you say to someone like that? All right. So I, I, I for one, was one of those people who yeah. tried many different things thinking that that was it. And I'll tell you what was the breaking point was me mm. and it's up to me. It, and uh, if it's meant to be, it's up to me. That's been, that's a, that's a mentality I have. And if you think a process is going to work and you only do it for one week and you don't see a result and you back out, you're an idiot. Keep mm. going. And mm -hmm. if you're going to make the commitment, make the commitment, be decisive about that commitment and be full force. Go two feet in, follow it every day religiously. And it has to be your routine. It has to be in your routine every day. You wake up, you do your affirmations, you wake up, you do your phone calls, you block schedule, you do the things you're supposed to do every single day. And, and like they say, you know, you pound the pavement, the pavement will pay you back. So you got to jump in two feet. You can't just sit there and lolly doll and think, oh my God, I did it for a week. It didn't work. Bullshit. It's like going to a bar oh. and trying to get a girl. You can't go to one bar and think you're going to find her. You got to go to multiple bars. Multiple <laughs> got to diversify yourself, you know? <laughs> it's a root. And, and in, the, in any business, it's, it's routine. You got to do it routinely every day. Follow the process every day. And if you're going to make yeah. the commitment, be decisive about it and follow through. Don't make excuses that it doesn't work. It's you, not the fucking program. It's you. Right. You're the problem. It's not working. Yeah. It's not It's not the program. Yeah, the plan works if you work it. And, uh, you know, sure, God feeds the birds, but he doesn't bring the worm and stick it in the nest. You got to go out there and get out of the nest and fight for that freaking worm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's just like push-ups. If you do your push-ups, you're going to get stronger. If you sit on the couch eating bonbons, watching Oprah, you're going to get fatter and weaker. Same thing here. You got to do your push-ups. We can't do your push-ups for you. And you can't do our push-ups for us. We got to do our own freaking push-ups. But that's what makes the thrill of victory so glorious is that you can have that pride of victory that you did it with the proven plan, with the support, with the st structure and the game plan you need. But nonetheless, it's a beautiful, glorious feeling when you can say to yourself, when you look in the mirror, I freaking did it. I conquered the giant. I slayed the dragon. I made it happen. So super excited for you, Johnny, super proud of you. You freaking did it. But again, we ain't done. We've just begun. So the best is yet in store, baby. Keep up the great work. Thanks, Doran. Thanks for having me, buddy. Thanks, everyone, for hey. watching. Yeah, Are guys, we... thank you so much for watching. <laughs> and uh, if you like, would like to find out um, what we can do for you, if you'd like to take the first step, just like Johnny took that first step just over a year ago, and he just made a phone call with us. We, he booked a breakthrough coaching call with uh, one of our consultants. In this, in this case, it was me, but we have a team of consultants. He took that first step. He booked the breakthrough call. And that was the beginning of his breakthrough is making that first call, getting help, getting clarity, understanding where he's at, where he wants to go and what it's going to take to get there. And you guys have the same opportunity to lift up the hood on your business and really get clarity on where you're at.
not like clarity, like what your numbers are, but what's the consequence of you staying stuck where you're at? And until and unless you feel the hellfire of the pain of the problem and get real with that pain of the problem, if it doesn't go away, what's the consequence? You're never going to create a breakthrough. So we really help you to serve you to your breakthrough by helping you get clarity. So if you'd like to take that first step that Johnny Supa took, that lit a fire under his ass, turned the light switch on and helped him make 100K in his first year and on track to do multiple more than that this year, you can take that first step by booking a breakthrough call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Again, that's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. It's a complimentary, no strings attached breakthrough coaching call with either myself or one of my team. And uh, yeah, we're just going to help you find out where you're at, where you want to be. If we can help you get there, by all means, we will show you how. And if not, frankly, we will be the very first people to advise you to pass on our services. But either way, you're going to leave the call with massive value, massive clarity. Chances are we'll even have some fun. All right, guys. So I invite you to book that call if you have not yet done so, but only book it if you're serious about creating a breakthrough. Only book it if you're serious about adding at least an extra $100,000 per year to your annual income, you're sick and freaking tired of doing it the hard way, and you're ready to start making champion money. You're ready to start breaking through barriers, climbing new mountains, not sliding down old mountains, and really stepping into champion level income, champion level achievement, and making what you know all along, even from day one, is possible, not just possible, but probable, probable and inevitable. That's what our system allows you to do if we're the right fit. We may not be the right fit, and that's what this call is about, is to see if we can help you. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging with us. You've been listening, watching to my interview with the one and only Johnny Supa. Johnny, thanks for hanging with me, brother. It's been a pleasure. Thanks, Darn. Anytime. Do it again for sure. All right, let's and do remember, it, brother. Be accountable for the shit that you do, man. Make yourself accountable. That's huge. Don't make excuses. That's it. You got it, man. That's, that's the way. That's the way of the warrior. The way of the champion. If it is to be, it's up to me. So again, this has been Johnny Supa and Dorn Aldana with the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast, MortgageMarketingCoach.com. Book your breakthrough call if you're ready to create your breakthrough and you'd like to explore how we can help you do that. MortgageMarketingCoach.com forward slash apply. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Go yes. forth, take massive action. You'll get massive results. Goodbye, everyone. Make it a great day. Peace. Peace.